I saw someone bringing a streetcar down this road and I could hear them scraping. It's kind of funny because you can see all these fresh marks and little bits of steel. I mean, you gotta be careful when you're, when you're on these roads and you should turn around if you bought them out, you gotta turn around. See, check this out, this is pretty bad. I mean, their car is like falling apart. Tons of scraping, tons of metal, and then there's these plastic chunks, like literally just sitting on top of this rock here. And down here, like some sort of a plug broke off and check this out <laughs> it was a blue car like a blue you know like a blue street car like pr riding pretty low like you definitely shouldn't be out here and this is some sort of bolt it's blue and they busted that off yep here's more scraping on this rock right here i mean they were desperate to get through here for some reason I mean, I was thinking about taking this road with my truck, but even, even with my truck, you know, it's got a little lift on it and it's got, you know, it's four by four off-road tires and everything. I'm really cautious. I was like, yeah, I might not want to do it just cause I could kind of get, I could kind of bottom out if I hit the rocks the wrong way. But I mean, this was just a, a really low riding car and they were following their friends who had vehicles that were a little bit higher off the ground. But once you, once you scrape a rock, you, oh, there's more damage right here. You gotta, you gotta stop and turn around and go back out and find an easier place to camp or hike in, you know, park your vehicle and hike in. If you, if you have some place you wanna go and your vehicle's not set up for it, it's not a good idea. This is funny because it's like their car is falling apart as they're going down this road. And there's more scraping here. And then there's more plastic bits. I'm not sure what that is, but it's probably, it could just be like um, fasteners for their front bumper. Wow, this is funny. Big marks here. And what is this? It's like some sort of a rubber plug. That could be from the bumper, but it's making me think like, I mean, it's rubber, like it's keeping in some sort of liquid. That is bad. I feel like if I keep hiking, I'm going to see their vehicle up here, like totally inoperable. I mean, I don't know how you'd, I don't know how you'd get out. If you, if you get to this point and your car is like you tore it up, then how do you get out? I mean, you're screwed. There's probably some kids like just not knowing that when you hear your, your car scraping, that's it. <laughs> you, you've got to stop. Dodger is doing really good with his brace. We've been doing a little bit less than a mile hikes. Basically every other day, I'm giving him a break. Um, but the longest he's done now is a little bit over two miles in one hiking session. You know, we stop halfway and take a little break. And He's doing pretty good, you know. He he used to be able to hike a lot, lot further. But with this brace, you know, he's he's keeping up with us pretty pretty decently. And I got this 
Velcro reflective collar on for Mr. Echo because there's a lot of people out here and there's some hunters out and if he does get away from me, then at least I'll feel like he's very visible. But I'm keeping a good eye on him. He's been really good. Anytime he puts his nose up, though, then I, that's when I put the leash on him. Now, there's people camped out here. This has got to be the people that I saw driving through here a couple days ago. I could smell smoke. They got a campfire going. There's awesome, awesome spots to camp out here. I think it's cool people want to get out, even if they don't have like a, you know, some sort of off-road vehicle or maybe all the equipment, all the camping gear you need. It's fun to just come out and just do what you can. But uh, if you have a low riding car, then you got to be careful where you go. I mean, it's things like that that those are the lessons that you, you get out here. You mess up. I've done it before, like got the trailer into a place that was like super hard to get out of. You have to like drive through bushes. I mean, a couple of videos ago, I got I got the trailer into a situation that took me like almost an hour of me just backing up back and forth over and over and over trying to get out and there was nobody luckily I wasn't like blocking a road or anything so it was a, a relatively like safe situation it's just irritating frustrating okay echo go on no dodger no you gotta go around around Dodger no go around Dodger go around go around that way or that way Come on, Echo. Let's go. Hey, guys. I messed up again. I just took Echo on a walk without Dodger. I let Dodger stay inside the trailer. And I was all excited to go on a hike and we didn't get but five minutes down the trail and two deer popped out and Echo disappeared. And I went looking for him. The only good thing that came out of this is I ordered a tracker while I was out in the woods. I got on Amazon and ordered a tracker right there. So here he is coming back, looking all tired and sad and beat up. You can see me looking like a fool again. I was pretty flustered. I knew he'd be back in about an hour and it's been about an hour and a half and he came back. I'll check him for injuries. I'm sure he messed up his paws because the ground's pretty rough out here. <laughs> but, okay, so the good thing is, like I said, I ordered a tracker. And you have to pay a monthly subscription. It's like, it's under 10 bucks a month, something like that. And I wish I had it out there because I could have found him a lot quicker. I mean, I guess I didn't even find him. I went hiking around trying to track the the hoof prints of the deer and his prints, and I lost I lost them pretty quick. And so I just estimated, well, they must be heading in that direction. So I kept hiking in that same direction. 
but I never saw any sign of them. I got to a big field. It's my fault. But I'm, I'm trying to train him when the deer come around to listen to me. And he didn't. He didn't listen to me at all. If he's on the leash, then that's the best opportunity I have to train him. Where you been, Echo? Huh? Looks like you got some bloody paws again. You got bugs on your face. A little bit of blood. How are your pads? Come here. And you can see I had this collar on this spot, the dog collar. I'll put a link to that down below. That made me feel good. At least, you know, people would see him. And I'd be able to see him in the distance a lot better. And if I had to look for him at night, then I know he's got something really reflective on. Where you been? You roll over? Let's see your paw. Not too bad. A little bit torn up. His pads look good. How about this paw? Not bad. You broke a nail. You did break a nail. Break this one too. How about your back paws? Oh yeah, those are tore up a little bit. A little chunk there. Big chunk there. <laughs> it's not too bad. I'm glad you came back, buddy.